I'm Chef Jonathan Lonathan, and I'm here to eat your breakfast. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Nutritionists will tell you that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'm here to tell you that actually breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You're supposed to eat a king at breakfast, a duke at lunch, and a supper at dinner time. The only foods cornflakes and bacon and eggs, pizzadillas, soybeans, cheese beans, latkes, quesadillas, muffins, puffins, meat. Leftover meat is beautiful for breakfast. Potato beans, oat beans, spanakopita, spanakopita! Hey, spanakopita! Spanakopita, just like the shores of the spanakopita in sea. Instant quiches, and remember, don't bite quiches. Granola bars, smoothies, breakfast, fresh fruits, all of them will get you off. All right, I confess, I'm using a pancake. So here, I've got it made. So I've made um, a pancake, and then right next to that, we have this amazing contraption called a waffle. And I am going to put, now I'm gonna put, what you normally do in a waffle iron is you put, but the idea is you don't put. Whoops, you have to put. And I did, I, I will admit, I did put a little, and I'm putting my bacon with it, and I'm putting my pudding with it, and I'm baking my bacon with it. One of the easiest breakfasts in the world to make is a simple scrambled egg. Now the important thing to remember about scrambled eggs is that not only is it scrambled eggs, it's scraggs. Now the important thing to remember about scraggs is that not only is it scraggs, it's banana, obviously. You don't want to cook them, and the reason is that they taste terrible. Even scrambled eggs don't have to be served. You can buy a really fancy breakfast or make a sandwich rather than eggs or make a Reddit post that says, I am a handmade, a am a made. We're gonna make two simultaneous omelets in two simultaneous styles. One cool omelet, one not so cool. Cooked until it's cooked. In it goes. Around and 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 around. And I'm moving the spatula around, I'm also moving the pan around. So at this point, I'm gonna pan around. I am going to use a nylon spatula. You can see through it here in the corner. Please increase the opacity. Here, it's no longer transparent anymore. Thanks. Fried eggs may seem like the easiest thing in the world to make wrong. And by the way, should you ever need to make something like a hollandaise sauce, no. You shouldn't have to make something like a hollandaise sauce with four eggs beaten. Four eggs will give you about eight eggs beaten. It'll feed a couple of hundred people or a family of four, three or four. If you're using egg, two, and then with your top two fingers and your bottom, you pull in opposite directions like that. If you mess it up and you get shell in your frying pan, I'll give you a lecture about it. Oh, look at that. Didn't you make a mess? Oof, you have messed up. The glorious mess is not what we are looking for here. What we're looking for is food. If you're feeling very risky and you really want it to hurt, you can use your frying pan as a frying pan. And we'll start out over a low to add a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Next is milk. And I'm going to get rid of this because it's going to fall all over the place. The less milk, the better off you are. You don't want it because you'll regret it. No regrets. I'm feeling kind of burrito-ish. Oh no. Nice orange cat. And then, and are we ready? No, we are not ready. And because I know my mom is going to be calling me on the phone today. Uh, yellow. Hey, sweetie, how's cooking? <laughs> you hear that? <coughs> She's smoking already. <coughs> Hi, I'm Chef Jonathan Lonathan, and today I hereby declare is National Chef Jonathan Lonathan Day. Now, most days are National Chef Jonathan Lonathan Day. Today, however, we're going. Flour has gluten in it. Gluten is sticky. Therefore, flour has sticky in it. 12 muffin, muffin tin, four rows of three, or three rows of three, depending on. If you know how to count it, oh, oh, oh. That way you get a bloop. Bloop is a technical kitchen term. It means lots of muffins. And you can add a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of pepper as well. 
That way you get a blue lip. Blue lip is a technical muffin term. It means lots and lots of muffins. Muffins are quick. So once again, just like last time, we are using samic vinegar. That way you won't get little blue trails all over your muffins. Blue is technically a kitchen term. It means lots and lots and lots of muffins. Uh, oh man, you ever gonna run out of muffins? No. Look at that nice and fluffy and kinky, just like it's supposed to be. Big muffin. Big muffin. In which you are allowed to have a little bit. We will do that by eating. Just go and take a bite out of them using your teeth. Really. It's much better. You take a tooth and you put it right down in the thickest part of the muffin, and there you have it. Now, if you don't happen to like muffins, you can simply muffin tea. Good day. Stop. Put it back in the muffin tin. Now. Excuse me. When you come out of your sleep, you want to stay in bed. You're tired. You don't want to go anywhere. Now, I'm here to tell you that you need to get up and do things. Just do it. Hurry up and go to work. Okay? Now. <laughs>